I got here as soon as I could. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sick or anything. Is it the baby? No, the the baby's fine. I mean, something's bothering you. Yeah. Remember when I went to see Heather Weber at Ferncliff? Yeah, I actually just saw her at, at Kelly's. I know she's out. You talked to her? Yeah, she said the same thing that you did, that she was in a room when my mother gave birth and that there were uh, complications. You could say that. Look, it turned out okay. Please, let's just put everything behind us, Sam. No, you don't understand, Jason. It was more than that. I, sh I should have told you sooner, but I just I didn't know how. Told me what? Born. The nurse took you out of the room to clean you up. And Heather was left alone with your mother, which wasn't unusual because Heather was your mother's labor coach. But, well, your mom, she, she, she suddenly started crying out in pain. And then she lost consciousness, so Heather yelled for help, and the nurse came back in. Not the doctor. No. It was just Heather and the nurse in the room with your mother. And Heather was holding the baby, which was you, and the nurse started examining your mother. Your mother was still in labor. I don't, I don't understand. Jason, she was having another baby. Are you, are you telling me that I had a twin? A twin brother. There's someone out there who's exactly like me. No, you are nothing like him. I mean, Heather said that you weren't identical. Exactly. Heather said, right no, there. Jason, you were fraternal twins. You were blonde hair, blue eyed, and he was dark. What, what did Heather say happened to my brother? He was adopted. So my mother kept me and gave him away? No, your mother was passed out. She didn't know. Heather and the nurse decided not to tell her. Why? Because the nurse wanted a baby. She couldn't have one for herself. So Heather just handed him off? No, Jason, she sold him. Like she sold her own son. <sighs> okay, I, I... I need to just get this straight. So you're, you're telling me that I had a twin and my biological mother never knew about him because Heather Weber sold him to a nurse as soon as he was born. No, it sounds... Crazy. No, it is crazy. Heather Weber is crazy, Sam. It's no, stupid. Jason, Heather remembered the nurse's name. The woman who bought your brother was Betsy Frank. What? Franco's mother. It's true. Franco was my brother? Sam, Heather Weber is a psychopath. She made the whole thing up. It's I, ridiculous. I went to see Franco's mother. Fra She's crazy, too. She confirmed everything, Jason. She had proof. The baby on the DVD wasn't you. It was the baby that Heather sold. The baby was Franco. Heather has only been... Franco found the home movie when he was a teenager, and he asked his mother why the baby on it had a bracelet that said baby boy more, and she told him the truth. She said that she bought him from Heather and that he had a twin brother. It's me. It's why he was so obsessed with getting your attention. It's why he kept saying that it was two sides of the same coin. You'll never know. What do you mean? It's what Franco said when I shot him. You know, I asked him what it meant, but he just laughed. my brother you didn't know and even if you had would it have mattered Franco made our lives a living hell he took pleasure in causing us pain he got what he deserved don't you ever for a second doubt that no, I don't I knew I was gonna kill him after what he did to you and what happened in Hawaii he set this whole thing up knowing that you two were brothers that's how badly he wanted to hurt us the baby We, we didn't know Franco was my brother when we had the DNA test. Is that... 
Does, does that change anything? Sam, the, the fraternity test said I'm, I'm the baby's father. But Franco and I are twins. You share the same DNA. So there's, n there's no way to know. Remember when I went to see Kelly Lee the other day? Mm -hmm. I had another test run. Baby's Franco's. Father. Robert Frank. I'm so sorry. So our child. I mean the child that you're carrying is it is it mine? Frank Franco's the baby's father? Yes. So the first DNA test was wrong? Well, when the test was run, they didn't factor in that you and Franco were brothers. We have the same DNA. No, Jason, no. You couldn't be more different, you know that. But the major genetic markers are close enough that you registered a false match to be the baby's father. I mean, if, if the DNA markers are close, is there a chance that they, they could be wrong? No, it's 99.9% certain, and I had the DNA test run against both potential fathers. How? How what? Franco, Franco's dead. I, how'd you get his DNA? A contact at the FBI. But John... They had Franco's DNA on file from when he was being investigated a while ago. When I was able to get a sample, and I gave it to Kelly Lee to run some that, tests. That's, that's what was off when I went to your appointment. There was no mix-up in the schedule. She had no idea you even had a checkup, Jeez. right? You were there to get the DNA test done. When I showed up, Dr. Lee covered for you. Am I right? Yes. So you lied to me. Again. I was always gonna tell you once I got the results, Jason. Well, you were handling me with Robin, and now you're doing it again. No, I was trying to spare you. I don't want to be spared, okay? I needed to know this. And I thought that maybe... Just maybe when I had to tell you that the man who raped me and tortured you was your twin brother, that I could share something positive with you to balance it out. I thought I could say, hey, Jason, guess what? I know this is a complete nightmare, but everything is gonna be okay because this baby, this child that we, that we already love, it's still ours. <sighs> I mean, that's why I waited to tell you, Jason. Not to control you or, or manage you. Gosh, I wanted to protect you. Look, Dad. Tell me the story that you had a, a twin brother that was sold at birth. I, I can't explain to you the, the pit that formed in the bottom of my stomach. I mean, I knew before she even said the nurse's name, I knew it was Franco. That's, that's when you should have told me. Sam, you should have let me help you. But Jason, I also knew that there was a chance that you weren't the father of our child, and I wanted to spare you the agony of having to go through another paternity test. And maybe, maybe even possibly give you good news. So every, every time I asked you if something was wrong, and every time you didn't answer, you thought you were doing that for me? Jason, I was coming from a good place. Please tell me you understand that. Feels like we just did this. Big 
Because we just so did. Why would you keep it secret after what, what happened with Robin? I told you, Jason. You said, I well, was you trying wanted to... to protect me, right? Yes. And I told you that I don't want to be protected. You keep asking me to understand, but it's like you're the one who's not who's not listening. I, what? I do understand. Did you, did you think that I can't handle it? No. That I was going to fall apart or have a seizure or No, or Jason, what? I, I know you can manage anything. I know that. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Maybe I was... I was being selfish. I, I didn't want to watch you suffer. So you suffered alone. Come on, Sam. We are supposed to be in this together. We are. How? How when you can't you can't tell me anything? You can't you can't talk to me. But you can talk to a stranger like John McBain. See if you live in the You don't think I struggled with this, Jason? You don't think that it's been eating me alive, deciding what to do? You should have told me from the start, Sam. I was scared, okay? I didn't want to see that look in your eye, that one, the one that's looking back at me right now. I was trying to protect us from the pain. We just, we both need to face it. I'm not the father. So now what? Now that we know Franco is the father, can you still love it? Can you be a part of its life? You can't. The idea makes you sick. I didn't say that. You haven't said anything, Jason, just like the night at the cabin. It wasn't a reality. It didn't it didn't matter then. Yeah, well, guess what, Jason? It's a reality now. I don't even know why I'm asking you these questions. I can't answer them. I don't have answers. I don't want this baby to be Franco's. Neither, neither do I. I want to go back to the way things were before, when we were happy and excited and... terrified. Oh, I hate this. I hate it too. You know, I hate that Frank was my my brother, and you're pregnant with with his child after what he did to you. Us, Jason. And and, and I hate that you chose to go through everything alone. Jason, I... Are you gonna talk about it? What? Oh, I don't know. Saying it out loud might take away some of its power. It doesn't change anything. Franco's my brother. And uh, he's your baby's father. Heather hadn't sold him and he grew up with you, maybe, maybe things would be, would have been different. It doesn't matter. It no, didn't, it, it doesn't happen, matter, Sam. Jason. It what, what if he wasn't born evil? What if the baby turns out to be like Franco? Franco is this baby's father biologically, but it doesn't mean that the baby is going to grow up to be anything like him. You don't know that. 
You are still this baby's father in every way that matters to me, Jason. I don't care what the tests say. I don't. In my heart and in our lives every day, this baby is ours. Please. Please tell me you can believe that. I want to. This is all going to take time to process, Jason. And the good thing is we're in this together. Not when you contacted the FBI. Or you got the DNA test, or you got the results, everything was without me. I told so. you, Jason, it was awful, and it just kept getting worse, and I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. I mean, first I found out that Franco was your twin brother. And then I realized that, yeah, I might be carrying his baby. I didn't want to hurt you any more than I had to. I was trying to protect I you. I want to be protected. Sorry. Don't be. Gotta be honest about how we feel. It's the only way we're gonna get past this. <sighs> yeah. Now, I know this hasn't been easy for you, and especially you've been going through everything alone. It's, it's what we do now that matters. What we do about the baby and how we feel, you know, our, our attitude toward the baby. That's Sonny. Sonny. No, Jason, it's Kate. Listen, I just, I wanted to apologize once again for what happened the other day in my office. And now that Sonny's trial's over, I just... I would really love to put this behind us. Is, is Sonny there? We're on our way to the party that I'm throwing for Sonny at the Metro Court. And I really hope that you and Sam can make it. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Jason. I would really, really hate to know that any animosity you have toward me would keep you from celebrating Sonny's birthday. It's not that... No, just uh, let me let me talk to Sam. Okay, because I really I would never want to come between you and Sonny, because I know how much he values you in his life. All right, so I really hope you'll be there. Bye. I'll just leave it. Kate wants us to go to Sonny's birthday party. Maybe we should go. I don't really feel like going to a party, do you? I don't know, Jason, Sonny is your friend. We both could probably use the distraction. Okay. Okay, I mean, it's better than sitting here, right? But I'm gonna go get changed. We don't have to do this. No, we do now. Why don't you go see Sonny? I'll go see my mother. Hey. Hi. Oh, hi. 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 <laughs> How are you? I'm glad to see you. Question. Yeah. What do you think of this outfit? It looks good. Why? Do you think I need to go home and change? No. Why? Never mind. How are you, Mom? I'm fine. All right, you want to tell me what's bothering you? You talked about it with John No, I, stop it. I don't it. want to talk about it, OK? Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks for showing up. Kate is around here somewhere. Could you, could you talk to her? Uh, about what? She feels bad about, you know, the argument you had. Yeah, in the I just I think it was more than an argument, Sonny. Well, you know what? 
At this point, I think you gotta let her go because she's under a lot of stress. She's working through it, and the psychiatrist told her that she's fine. He did. He said Kate could stop seeing him, and whatever was bothering her, it's over. Sonny enjoying his party? Yeah, I guess. You want anything? What? I don't know, some water, something to eat? I want a lot of things, Jason. <laughs>